Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield, and today we're doing another episode of Elotro Tale, where we left off last time. So, last time in the episode, we were helping um, the rangers up in their little fort. So, as you can see behind me, it's a very cool little area. That's the little pathway that sneaks up to the fort that we were in on last episode. Basically, where we go, here we are, up here, All right? In the uh, northern area here, where the ranger camp is hidden in these mountains. You can see some evil towers over there. The towers of Gath Unu and Bered Gularan. Mm, it's like a one of Angmar's fortresses. It's not Khardum. Khardum is over there. So, anyway, what we had to do is we're going to go talk to that hillman with information to save the ranger of that, the one ranger lady, her father. Right? So that's our goal today. And we're going to have some, we're going to have a blast. And I just have to shout out real quick in Lotion Tale is that I'm um, pretty excited. Uh, to say that I can now say I have Patreons with an S. So, little quick shout out to you know, at the beginning just for fun, my new Patreon, Mr. Ravel. Thank you so much for your support. It's very, very cool that you wanted to do that. And for everybody else who might be wondering, um, there's different the different tiers. You can go look at the Patreon page if you want to support me in that way. That's great. Please don't feel obligated to. That is not why I'm saying this. Um, you guys subscribing and liking is really awesome but if you feel like you want to support me and you want to join our discord if you support me with patreon you join the discord for the lower amount too all the different amounts but um they both are supporting me in the way where i put their name on every single time there's one higher tier where i'll say it every single time but i am going to occasionally when someone joins me as a new patreon i will shout out your name once even if you want to do it on the lower tiers so i'm just gonna throw that out right now i might not always be able to do that depending on how <laughs> crazy things get but i really appreciate the first people who are supporting i really appreciate you guys so anyway quick little shout out let's move on with our video and have a fun day today so have some fun here now i actually turned off the ambiance sound i'm gonna turn it back on because it's really creepy but here we go now we're gonna get that creepy ghoulie sound oh spiders right off the bat so we're supposed to find that hillman who's over here in the back somewhere so we are gonna check that out right now so again we are in angmar we're in the far north in himbar um, again, the hillmen also live around here, so if you'll notice, there are fortresses that are of Angbar. Oh, look, it's a wonderful Marevel. Vampire woman. <clears throat> yeah, that's not what I want to fight. All right, um, how do I get to that person? Okay, I need to go south. I need to go south. We're going to go talk to that hillman, like I said at the beginning of the episode, where we have to uh, get the info. He has He supposedly stole a scroll from the libraries inside Cardoom that tells how to get into Cardoom uh sneak in which is what we want to do to save the ranger commander or captain or whatever the father of the ranger who asked us the, the one lady I forget her name right now but um we're gonna swim to this lake real quick let's see um Lorian told us yeah that she had so Lord Niel Lord Niel is her name that's the name Remember it. You guys, what do you think of my cool little cup? It's got like little origami animals on it. Like a whale and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I know I said my other adventure episode that my sister got me that mug. Well, she also got me this cup. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little cup. I like it. Little mug. Alright. So, there's some very strong... There's some... Agmarum. Iron Crown people around here so these are basically the evil people that follow the iron crown who kind of oppress the hillmen at the same time the hillmen are also kind of all in league with them so um so there's a lot of them here uh i need to get to the front of this village so we're gonna sneak this way hopefully not oh it's a Dur durvadane protector not to be confused with the duadane <laughs> all right there, here he. So he's right here somewhere. There, there he is. Okay. There's the hillman, Ragnar. The Trave Duverdine served the Iron Crown. The Trave Duverdine served the Iron Crown. You were sent here by a woman from the south. Hmm. Here, take the scroll. My people are suspicious. I must go at once. The Moravel have seen you. I must flee. 
Oh, wonderful. Yeah, th yeah, leave me to the scary, evil woman who wants to oh, God, drink my blood. All right. Stay away from me, scary vampire lady. Leave me alone. All right. Well, we've solved that issue. All right. We got to go back up and talk to him. Did I do a, my base there? I did. Garth... Forthern, Thern, Forthern, Garth Forthern. That's the place the ranger camp is hidden up in those mountains, a little hideaway. My violin is like coming through my thing. All right. What instrument should we use today on this episode, guys? I think we're gonna use the drum. Uh, she's over here, I believe. She, she's back here, yeah. Loniel's room. All right, now I can do her voice after I did a bunch of low voices in another episode today. What do you need? What do you need? Did you find the Ragnar? Ah, that must be the scroll of it. Uh, the scroll he told of. Let me see it. Could I speak with you a moment? Could I speak with you a moment? I fear we may have been deceived, Zolid, for this scroll is written in black speech and may say nothing of value. I cannot say, for the black speech is not a tongue with which I am familiar. Even so, I would know um, what this says. Perhaps the elf Leirundan may have some proficiency in this writing. He is an old friend of my father's, and he is here in Garth Forthern. Take this scroll to him and ask him his opinion. If um, if it may help us free my father, then we must make must learn of its secrets at once. All right, we will do that. Dolan Iron Shield is on his way to talk to some elf about a scroll. Where is the elf? Is he in here? Uh, he's here apparently. But where? Where is this elf? Well, this is his room. Oh, now he's here. Oh wow, he looks... I have been friends with Gulladern for many years and have known of his exploits longer. I know he lives. This looks a lot like Elodin. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. Alas, but I have taken the time to learn the cruel mutterings of the orcs. I have no desire to speak with them by any means save my sword. <laughs> if Tiff this scroll did indeed come from Cardoom, Elrond half Elvin may have an interest in it, and he assured knows assuredly knows the black speech. Go to Rivendell and seek out the master of the last homely house, if you would know the answer to your riddle. If you would know the answer to your riddle. Alright, sounds good. Collecting the tattered scroll, blah blah blah, going to Elrond half Elvin. Why is he called that, you guys? Lore of the day. Why is he called Half Elven? Because he's Half Elven. Remember? His brother was the first king of Numenor. Everyone's like, what? Who doesn't know the lore? <laughs> Remember how Arwen can choose to be... Anyway, moving on. We'll go into that at a lore episode if you guys want. How can I be of service? How can I be of service? Woo! We're gonna take a swift travel to Rivendell, please. So we're gonna hit this. I would like to continue on and get to Moria very soon in this in this series, in the Lotro Tail series. So I'm we're at the right level. We're ready to go. In fact, we're already a little high level, realistically, but So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to finish up this chapter here. And then we're going to head on over to Rivendell. I, I'm not sure we're going to do anything in a region. Or region. I, I don't know how people say it. I say region. Whatever. Sorry if I'm saying that. It's bugging you. All right. Anyway. um, So we're going to learn a lot about this probably in the new Amazon series. Hopefully. If they'd follow things true. <laughs> it's always worrisome. But um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to give them the... I don't have to doubt until I see it. <laughs> That's a big hope, I know. Big if. Uh, Alright, let's go talk to Elrond. Do, 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 
Oh, look at this little hobbit. So fancy. All dressed up. All right. Ah, Rivendell. Just beautiful. The music never gets old. That Chance Thomas music. By the way, for my people who don't maybe don't watch my other playlists, and just like Lodger Tail, um, I'm going to probably, in the near future, have on a couple people for interviews, for fun interviews about Tolkien stuff. Um, just gotta plan it with them. But uh, one of them will be the composer you're hearing right now. I asked for a rain check a year ago on an interview. And I think around a thousand subscribers will invite him on. This should be a blast. You guys, I'm gonna do a live stream too for a thousand subscribers, don't you worry. So I will, uh, when it happens, when we hit a thousand, at the time of this video, you're probably watching this in the future, maybe we're way past it. But by the time we hit a thousand, uh, let everyone know ahead, they will do it. And then of course you can go watch that stream if you are watching this later in, in my channel's life, you can go watch that stream. I'm sure it's a blast. I'm sure the future will be a blast for the past. I don't know. Now I'm just making jokes. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, we're here in the last homely house. We know Elrond in his library on the second floor. Because he's always there. He likes his books, apparently. Look at all these other players we're encountering. Lots of them. He was level 51 too. I think. Very missed it. Elrond, Lord Elrond, we have a we have a scary scroll with black speech on it. You gotta read it for us. Will you lend me your aid once more? Of course. What is this? You were sent by the daughter of Gul Gulladir and by the elf Lairn <laughs> Excuse me. Lairandan. What a strange fate has brought you hither. The shadow of Angmar has grown with a shadow in the east. Give me the scroll. I will unravel this mystery for you. Dark days are coming. Dark days are coming. Lo Loniel's hope were not wholly in vain, for this scroll does indeed reveal a way to pass the gates of Cardoom. The scroll tells of a special key needed, forged of a dire black iron found only in the fell pits of Angmar and the secrets of its crafting. I believe a, such a key could be made of mithril, for the strength of Moria silver may overcome whatever resistance the lock may give. Unfortunately, we have not mithril to use. Perhaps you would seek the aid of Lord Dwalin at Thorin's Hall and Arid, um, Arid Luin. The dwarves know best the secrets of Mithril. It is they you should speak with. I have translated the contents of the scroll in Western. The dwarves sh um, should have no difficulty reading it. Cool. That's a pretty cool little thing. Now I actually Hope have a. Hope is not in vain. I actually have a fast. Uh, ooh, that's I have my race ability since I'm a dwarf. So we're gonna run over to Thorns Hall real quick. It's a traveling episode! Woohoo! <laughs> a fast travel. Alright. We're teleporting. By the way, if you wonder what this picture is, this is a little spot behind um down here. It's in, in here I think it's here, right here. In behind uh Kellen Kellendim. Alright, we're here at Thorin's Hall, one of my favorite places. And I'm not at all prejudiced because I'm a dwarf. What do you mean? <laughs> Alright. I do love this place, though. It is just so amazing. Just, like... I just can't believe it still looks as good as it does, being such an older game. And now they're going to do a graphics update, which will be really exciting. We'll see what, what that does to the game. Alright, Dwalin should be onto the throne seat up there. Unless it's changed. I'm just really happy today, guys. I hope you're having a good day, too. My goal is to always make try to make you guys happy on every day we, we hang out together. I try to get good content that's fun, 
engaging, moves along, doesn't take too long, so I'll stop talking, we'll continue. What do you want? What do you want? Greetings, dwarf! You have come from Elrond of Rivendell? Then you will have the aid of Durin's folk. Let me see that scroll. Come, and stay a moment. Come, and stay a moment. That we can forge this key? Hmm, I have no doubt, but there are some items we will need before we can begin. Master Elrond's instructions say that we need Mithril, but there is none to be held in the Blue Mountains. Also, we will need something to cast a mold from. Now, one of the gifts Bilbo took aback from the Lonely Mountain was a nugget of Mithril. Oh, I didn't realize it. I doubt he understood its value, so he probably left it behind when he returned to Rivendell. However, he may have given it to the Matham House in Michael Delving. Haha, <laughs> it's kind of funny. By the way, Matham coins, remember those are in the Rise to War game I've been playing, I've been playing on the other playlist? If you don't watch it, don't worry about it. But if you do, you know what I'm talking about. Perhaps the keeper of the Matham House can help you with that. As for the casting, uh, Atty Spiderbane. Oh, I love this character. He's through the whole. He's a cool guy. A dwarf. I uh, sent word that the Ar Archit gods found a ruined key among the bodies of the Blackwalls. Oh, interesting. Look how it's combining all the. That's so cool. Oh, whoa, it's really cool. I don't know if you guys follow, but you you do stuff with the Blackwalls in the human and Hobbit beginning areas. It's, it's like combining all of them. All the the. That's cool. John Brackenbrook, what another cool human character, may still have it. If their leader was from Angmar, as I heard, it may be the key is just what we need to cast the mold. Excuse me for interrupting that cool sentence the whole time, but all these cool characters he's talking about. All right, so talk to Keeper Brombard Foxtail, which is probably in Michael Delving, and John Brackenbrook, which is in um, Archit which is uh, to the east, northeast of Bree. So, we have to go to Michael Delving, and then we need to go over to Archit, past Bree. All right, so I need to... Let's see, uh, let's see, our teleport thing is still down for a minute, so I think it'll be faster just to ride our goat out. We're going to go out to the Stable Master. We're going to take a fast travel to Michael Delving. It is nice with the chapter twist, because usually a lot of times when they're like main characters, they're places that you can take fast travels to. Which is always nice. Look at that light beaming off the reflecting jewel. Do you see that? It's pretty cool. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Or it's like the light coming through the air. Wow. It's cool. Dude, music is what makes games. Any games. I'm not just talking about Lord of the Rings Online. Music in this, fantastic. But every game, whenever, I don't know, but you leave a comment what you guys think. When I play a, play a game, if the music isn't super good, and in fact, if the music is bad, which I have played games, just any game, I'm not talking about just Lord of the Rings games, I'm talking about any game, it, it definitely takes away major. And if the music is really good, it the immersion of games like this, it makes it so much better. Because you don't even realize that this music is playing in the back of your head. It's just well, part of the world, right? All right, we're going to Michael Delving, which is always I find a very interesting thing too. In um, you know nowadays, we like think about we watch movies and stuff, and there's like always oh, this music playing, right? Just subtly in the background. Sometimes it's not subtle, but sometimes it's subtle, and like we will hook that to like some beautiful location or something, and that it's funny because today you know you go there, and it's just it's nice to have quiet and beauty, but like. Sometimes having a little music makes it so much more enjoyable. So like when I go on a walk or something, I like to hear the birds, I like to hear the wind, I like to hear the quiet, definitely. But sometimes it's fun when you can have a little headset, put one ear in and hear this, like a pretty little music piece like this, flutes, while you're doing, um, you know, walking through nature. You know, it like, it's cool, I don't know. You're like adding cinematic soundtrack to your real world walk, right? Now, to, to balance that, I, I don't think it's going to be blasting music all the time where you never enjoy nature or anything. But I'm the kind of person that listens to, like, pretty soundtracks like this while I'm outside. Uh. 
And I think games like this really just open your imagination to the world. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, oh, look it. There's a rainbow. It's kind of cool. What a beautiful rainbow. Original meaning of that. God's promise to never flood the world again, right? Rainbow in the Bible. Anyway, that's off subject. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Hello there. What can I do for you? A mithril nugget? Hmm, never heard of it. Oh, that you mean that chunk of silver old Bilbo brought back from his adventures? I thought it was too light for real silver. Well, it must have little value then, and I don't see why we should keep it. You're quite welcome to take it. Here. <laughs> just like holding it, like, knowing how we're... Like, he just gives it to us. Good day. Good day. I have a word we're not going to do that quest. But yeah, it's very important to get out, guys. Get out. And enjoy the world too but again for me this game it helps me my imagination it's seeing it all of Tolkien's stuff brought to reality you know what I mean besides the movie where you can actually like walk around and I mean look at that look at that pretty little scenery right there look at that that's pretty cool super cool but nothing ever can video game can never compare to real life guys so get out take walks enjoy yourself but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy a game too you gotta have balance on everything is balanced lovely in life. day isn't it it is a lovely day can you give me a swift travel debris or a comb would work yeah we can go to comb it's actually a quicker way to get there There's a couple, a couple little towns around Bree. It's kind of fun too because the game really shows you a lot of stuff you don't get in the in the movies, and you know what I mean. Like, there's so much more stuff Tolkien added to his stories we don't really know, you know, until All right now. I don't think there's a horse person up there, so we're gonna have to ride our way up there real quick. We'll get it from John Brackenbrook. It's kind of fun to see. Uh... See the starting area over here. It's so pretty. All right, here we are. We're in Arch it. Been a long time since I've been here. Little signs. Arch it's that way. All right. There's a player. Level 6, brand into the game. Good luck. Stay away from the Belrogs. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's a guy who has tons of other characters. I do love the fact that it seems like we're getting more and more players in Lotro. And I hope that I can be one of those people to help promote this game back into the spotlight. And I'm really happy to see how hard the team is working on Standing Stones to make this game, like relevantly good always you know what i'm saying because no matter what games are going to get older right every game's gonna that's going to be the case with any game but they're like planning on doing visual updates they're trying to they're listening to what people are saying they're trying to make things more fun more balanced more you know work this way work that way you know they're they're a good team i think it's a good game i've always been i've always liked the majority of what whoever's been in charge of lotra has done especially standing stones i feel like they've done a really good job for being such a small team they're not a huge team like compared to like other company game companies that have you know 200 people on their staff you know what I mean or whatever I I'm not actually sure how big they are but I think they're only like 60 maybe maybe something like that 40 60 which is still a lot of people full-time jobs you know what I'm saying it's a lot of work what can I do for you what can I do for you well it's good to see you Mr. John Brackenbrook good to see you too Zolid all right greetings friend what May I help you with? You say you have come all the way from the Blue Mountains to retrieve what old ruined key we found among the Blackwald's belongings? It is true that was found among things we believe were Calder Cobbs, which is the only reason I kept it. It's quite useless. Here, may it assist you in your endeavors. What a nice guy. What's he got here? Prologue. Stay a moment. Oh, I never did this on this character. Oh, that, of course I didn't, because I started in the dwarf area. It's a beginning quest for the human or elf area. 
That's all right. We could always come back on this character and do the quest here in the future for fun. Just to kind of see the background lore of what... A main thing... You know one of the biggest things in Lotro that I think is just fantastic? We need to go back to Dwalin. All right, we're going to take a map back. One of the biggest things I love about the Lord of the Rings Online is the fact they're storytelling. Like the writers. Like where they weave in what Tolkien said and then they add a little bit of their own or they'll like slightly adjust things because Tolkien didn't give quite the detail on something even though Tolkien gave the detail on everything you know what I'm saying but <laughs> yeah, it's really cool they, they've done a fantastic job so not only, I enjoy the gameplay of this game but even if you're not really a person that likes classic MMOs as much um, like I like the actual combat of this game and stuff but the storytelling is fantastic like, if you just want to play a game, go through storytelling, and learn, like, really good. You learn a lot, too, that you wouldn't learn from the movies. There's way more detail in this game come from along from the books than there would be ever in movies or a series. Anyway, I just talked, talked, talked while we were traveling. But, I mean, hey, got to cover the time somehow. Hopefully it was useful for you guys and not annoying. Ha ha ha! What do you want? What do you want? Ah, oh, I was right. The hobbits did indeed have Bilbo's nugget. I hope you didn't have a, to hunt anyone to get it. Foxtail didn't even know what it was. Well, it should be no surprise to me. A hobbit would not know truly precious materials if you gave them a hoard. <laughs> and I see you retrieved the key from John Brackenbrook. We have all we need. Go now and take these items to Lithlail uh, by the forge there. He will get you started on the key. Sweet. Oh, he's right there. Let's do it right now. Go a little long this episode, but let's just do it. What do you need? What do you need? So you're the one that Dwalin was talking about. You have the mithril, I see, and the foul key from the Agmarim. All right, then. Give them here. I'll get started on smelting down that mithril. The problem is that there will be a problem um, shaping this metal. Perhaps you could speak with Dwalin. I'll set the mithril in the bed of coals over here. Ooh, it's glowing. <laughs> Tales uh, tell that a special shaping... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Tale tells that a special shaping hammer is needed for all such fine work as a key. I've no such hammer, though, nor have I ever seen one. And then he says, Best tell Dwaller that if I'm to complete this work for you, I'll need just such a hammer. Go on now. Let him know. Let's wait to little hands. Well met. Well met. A mithril shaping hammer. Bah! I've seen but one of those in my entire life, and I have not seen one since. Oh dear. Ooh. A lot of might. A lot of vitality. Fortunately, it doesn't give me really any will or faith, which is kind of what I need. Might you lend me an ear? Might you lend me an ear? To work with Mithril, you need a special hammer. So special, in fact, that only um, ever had one here in Thorin's Hall. Thorin's? Uh, uh, sorry. Thor's hammer. The hammer of Thorin's grandfather, which Thrain brought here. Of course, uh, since we never had any mithril to work with, we never used it. When most of our longbeards moved back to the Lonely Mountain, the hammer got left behind. And, as a res an, an insult to us, I'm sure, the Darhans took it and placed it in Skogram's tomb. As tribute to him. Freaking dour hands. <laughs> At least that is what one of them told us. We tried reclaiming that tomb, but it seemed cursed. Vile things started lurking in the shadows there. I would say we should let it lie there, but this task of yours is important enough to warrant opening the tomb again. You'll fi not find any dwarves willing to go in there, so you will need to retrieve the hammer yourself. The tomb lies south of here in Bel Belgold. Wait a second. Okay, it's, yeah, yeah, it's that tomb. All right, sweet. Well, I think that'll be a very fun thing to do next time, and we'll continue on to more, yeah. So, my friends, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me and Zolid on this journey today, and you are all wonderful. Thank you for 
joining us as always. I am your hosting guides on Iron Shield. Quick little shout out and thank you to my Patreons. And again, one more shout out verbally to my new Patreon, Mr. Ravel. Thank you so much for your Iron God support, my friends. And thank you for your support. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, links down there if you guys want to join on that. If not, you're free to subscribe. Support me. Button's right there. Next episode of this playlist will be up there in the top left. And Alotra Tales right over there. Check them all out. And I got other links to other free stuff down there too as well. So check them all out. You guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. I'm your host and guide always. And I've really had a fun day today doing this episode. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Baruch Hazan.